Hi everybody, it's me Miss Jazz. We're going to be doing an activity, a map fun activity game called Three Tac Tilt. Similar to like Tic Tac Tilt, but we're going to be using it to be a little bit different. We're making our own game board. All you need is paper and a marker or a pencil. We're going to be using dice. If you don't have dice, we have a way for you to use virtual dice. And I'm going to give you a multiplication chart to help you work that out. We're going to be learning about multiples of numbers. So if you learn that, that'll help you craft that skill and you'll learn it more and more, and the more you practice, the better we get at it. So let's get into three tac toe. Before we get started with three tac toe, let's just go over some facts you may already know, just a refresher because you know multiple. So what is a multiple? A multiple is a result of any whole number multiplied times another number. So let's say we had two. Two times three is six. So six is a multiple of two and three because you use two and three to make six. Now, if you look at your multiplication chart, when you look at them, it's very easy. If you look at the numbers, multiple. So fives are easy. We pretty much know fives by heart, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 by 40, 45, 50. Those are all multiples of five because five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15, and so on. So pretty much just when you're going to look at the numbers. So in this game, we're going to roll two die, and we're going to add them up, and that's going to be the number that's going to be the multiple. So we rolled a die and it was a one and a two, then it would be a three. So that means we're looking for multiples of three. Now that's the little re re refresher course about multiples for you to learn. But if you have your multiplication chart, this will be a little bit more helpful for you to remember. And if you know your if you know the multiplications like your ones, two, three, four, five, six, and sevens, this will help you. But our charts you can even learn a little bit more. Maybe go into elevens and twelves and thirteens and maybe things you don't really think about, and that may help you learn. And the more you learn, the better you get at this, right? So let's get into making our board. So to make our three tac toe board, it's very the tongue twist three tac toe. Um, you're just gonna need a piece of paper and a marker. So what you're gonna do is you can see here's my board right here. Now as you can see, I have a lot of numbers on it. It's gonna take you quite a time, but you know what? You practice your numbers and you go with this. So you're gonna go from one, so you have ten right here. It's gonna go from one to ten in each row. So as you can see, each row is 1 through 10, all the way down to 144. So you're just going to try to write as nice and neatly as you can in order. 1 through 10, your first row, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, and so on and so on. So each row is going to have 1 through 10, as you can see here. And the last row is only going to have 4, because we're going to 144. Because you guys should know what's uh, 12 times 12. 12 times 12 is 144, so that might be a multiple if we get 12 on the die, so that may work out. So after you got this done, you're pretty much ready to start playing. This will take a while. If you want to, it may be better if you have graph paper at home. I don't, or if you have line paper and you want to draw lines to make little boxes so it looks a little bit more secure. Mine's a little crooked, but again, it's not about perfection, it's about doing something. Um, another option you can do is if you have a sheet protector, you can put this in your sheet protector and then you can use um, erasable markers and then you don't have to keep making a new board every time you play. Or you can use a pencil and just erase when you do your board. So let's get into playing three tac -tum. To get your virtual dice, you're just going to go on Google and you're going to type out roll dice. Once you press enter, type your roll dice, you're going to get this. All you do is you click on the six-sided dice again to get two dice and now you'll have your dice for playing. And when you roll it, it will add the numbers for you, as you can see here. And that will be very helpful. So we have our board. Let's roll our dice. And the first number we get is 6. So I'm going to go with 6 times 1 is 6. I'm going to go pretty easy up here to cross out 6. Let's see how that goes. So you can see we already crossed out 6. And I roll the die again, and I get a 5. But there's plenty of places I can go to is 5. I can go 5, 15, 25, 35. I'm going to go with 15 because I'm going to try to go diagonal. So let's cross out 15, and there we go. Now we're almost at a 3 tac toe. So depending on where you roll the dice is exactly where you want to go. You want to try to get close to it, close to 3 tac toe. So we roll again, 5 and 2 is 7. So let's try to where we want to go. There's, I can go 21, but 14 is right there, and it's pretty close. So I might be able to get there until I've had another number. So let's mark off 14. So, as you look at it, we're pretty close to getting a tac toe already. Let's roll the dice again. 
2 and 2 is 4. So there's a lot of multiples of 4. There's 4, there's 12, there's 16, there's 24. We're just going to see what's close to us to get 3 tag toe. What can we possibly get one with? Um, we have 16. We can get 3 tag toe that way because uh, 4 times 1 is 16. And we have 4 times 6 is 24. I'm going to mark 24 because that's one of my favorite numbers. So now you can see we have a 3 tag toe diagonal. We have the 6, the 15, and the 24. So we mark that down. And yay, now we have a point. So you continue playing this game in a similar way. You're going to roll the dice, take turns, and eventually that's how it works. As you can see, playing the game is pretty easy. Once you learn your multiplications, then you get to know. And some of them are very easy. When you get to the higher numbers, it's going to be a little bit harder. But maybe you can call yourself, maybe give yourself extra points if you use higher numbers. That's another variation of playing the game. Um, it also helps you with your skills, your multiplication skills, because we always need to have those, right? The more you learn is those multiplication skills, the better you'll get at math because you learn as you get older and older that you need to use those. So I hope you enjoyed learning this little game and hopefully you played and have fun. And um, hope to see you next time. Bye.